Welcome back everyone. Today, we're diving deep into one of the most unique and hauntingly fascinating aspects of Hideo Kojima's masterpiece, Death Stranding, and asking a question that's been on the minds of fans everywhere, will Death Stranding 2 miss out on its boldest feature? The void out mechanic, where the world itself changes and suffers as a result of player actions, is one of the most ambitious ideas Kojima and his team introduced in the first game. Yet, it feels like there's still so much untapped potential there. As we anticipate the next chapter in Sam Porter Bridge's journey, it's worth exploring how Death Stranding 2 could, and perhaps should, expand on voidouts to create a richer, more dynamic gameplay experience. So grab a snack, settle in, and let's dig into what Death Stranding 2 could become if it fully embraced this groundbreaking feature. To understand the potential of Void Outs in the sequel, let's take a quick trip back to the first Death Stranding game. Void Outs are cataclysmic explosions that happen when a BT, or beached thing, comes into contact with living matter. Essentially, if Sam or another human is eaten by a BT, the result is a massive explosion, creating a crater in the landscape that remains for the rest of the game. It's a dramatic event, and the eerie silence that follows is a stark reminder of the permanent damage these void outs cause. In the world of Death Stranding, death isn't just a personal event, it affects everyone and everything around it. By the end of the game though, void outs felt a bit underutilized. They were more of a looming threat than a central gameplay mechanic, with most players only triggering them once, maybe twice, unless they were purposefully reckless. But as a concept, void outs have so much potential, and fans are hoping Kojima will elevate them in Death Stranding 2. So how could Kojima Productions go about making void outs a bigger part of the Death Stranding 2 experience? For starters, imagine if these craters could be explored. In the original game, void out craters were reminders of your actions, but didn't hold much gameplay weight. But what if in the sequel, these craters became areas filled with new dangers and rewards? Exploring the depths of a void out crater could be as tense and atmospheric as it sounds an environment filled with toxic air, unstable terrain, and even more dangerous BTS lurking below. This would add a whole new layer of strategy. Players would have to consider whether the rewards of exploring a crater are worth the risks. And beyond that, what if void outs could also reveal hidden lore or unique items tied to the history of the world, giving players incentives to confront these dangers head on. But here's the tricky part. Making void outs a more frequent and prominent part of the gameplay could be a double-edged sword. In the original game, void outs were rare enough to make them impactful, but too many would risk turning the entire world into a series of craters and voided landscapes. To address this, Kojima could create contained void outs. These might be limited to specific zones or triggered only by special circumstances, balancing the intent intensity of a world-altering event without oversaturating the environment. Additionally, only certain encounters or missions could lead to void outs, making them more rare, yet impactful moments of destruction. In this way, void outs could maintain their weight as a mechanic without feeling overused, making each occurrence an unforgettable experience. Another fascinating idea is to allow players to repair or reclaim areas affected by void outs. In Death Stranding, a big theme is rebuilding and reconnecting a broken world. Imagine if, after a void out, players could participate in reconstructing and healing these cratered areas. This could bring in new multiplayer elements, where players around the world could work together to restore voided regions, pooling resources, and rebuilding what was lost. This concept would also tie beautifully into the themes of hope and resilience that Death Stranding is known for. Instead of void outs being purely destructive, they could serve as a chance for the player community to come together and turn a symbol of loss into one of recovery and unity. The horror element in Death Stranding is already strong, BTS are genuinely terrifying and the sense of isolation can be deeply unsettling. Expanding the void out feature could heighten this horror factor even further. Imagine if every time you entered a previously voided area, the environment subtly reminded you of the destruction that occurred there. 
Strange sounds, ghostly images, or even echoes of past events could make the area feel haunted by the void out, adding a layer of psychological horror that pushes players to confront their past actions in unsettling ways. And finally, void outs could serve as a powerful storytelling tool. Kajima is known for his intricate narratives, and Death Stranding introduced us to an otherworldly connection between life, death, and an apocalyptic reality. Death Stranding 2 could use void outs to reveal more about the nature of BTS, the world's fragmented timeline, and even Sam's personal journey. Imagine if key plot moments revolved around void outs, where each crater tells a story of loss or conflict, both personal and societal. These events could become more than just random game mechanics, they'd carry narrative weight and reveal hidden layers of the world's story. In conclusion, Death Stranding 2 has an immense opportunity to evolve the void out mechanic from a rare spectacle to an integral part of the gameplay, story and world building. By creating more interactive, meaningful, and perhaps even redemptive void out experiences, Kojima Productions could craft a sequel that not only respects the original's bold ideas, but pushes them to new heights. But now, I want to hear from you. What do you think? Should Death Stranding 2 lean into the chaos of void outs, or would you rather they remain as rare, haunting events? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more gaming deep dives. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.